And hello, welcome to Solo Playthroughs. We got another new to Solo Playthroughs game today, and this one is just chock full of nostalgia for me. Yes, it is. I do come from a family that you might say loves baseball. So for my non-American audience, I hope that you know enough about baseball that you're interested in this. And if not, catch me next week and I totally get it. So <laughs> baseball is a game that I grew up on, man. Gary Carter, Dwight Gooden, the 86 Mets were my jam. Keith Hernandez, Lenny Dykstra, Wally Backman. I can go on and on and on about how that team defined a large part of my childhood. In fact, when Gary Carter passed away a few years ago, it was like, oh, that was like <laughs> the... <laughs> that was a significant moment in my life. And some of you were like, wait, I see the Orioles stuff. You grew up a Mets fan? I did. I lived in Baltimore for a while post-college and went to a ton of games and fell in love with the then terrible Orioles and the now again terrible Orioles. But don't forget, they had the best record in the American League for a four-year span. And anyone that says otherwise is wrong. They were really good for a while and just got no love because they were doing it with a lot of smoke and mirrors and just couldn't get it together in the playoffs. And I digress. That's another YouTube channel. I'll let you go there for your baseball fix. So here we are with Baseball Highlights 2045. And what a cool Clever little system. I was not convinced that I was going to like this game despite my love for baseball, which, you know, is waning a little bit the last couple of years, but the Orioles will be back and I'll be back, I promise. <laughs> Obviously, not living down the block from the stadium means I don't get as many games under my belt as I used to. But this game is very, very cool. There's just so much about the system that I really, really like. And I played it with my dad and that was a significant moment for me when I saw him interacting with the game and it's a pretty straightforward game with enough strategy but a lot of nostalgia and it's really really cool and then I went and bought all of the expansions the Grand Slam expansion which is like another hundred and something cards added to the mix it's very cool however I am only playing with the base game here. I know there's like a spring training version. This is like the base game that has 120 cards. So you have four starter teams. You have 60 free agent cards. You can get more starter teams. I don't really see the point. And all the expansion content looks great. I really look forward to playing that with my brother and my dad and my nephews at an upcoming family vacation. However, from what I've read and from what I've seen and just getting a sense of the game, I do think the amount of wackiness and randomness it would add to the solo game probably isn't to its benefit. However, if you love this game and you think otherwise, put that in the comments below. I would love to know how people play this game solo. This is how I play this game solo, and I really, really like it. So this is not just one game. It's a lot of mini games. In that sense, it's kind of like too many bones, which is like a bunch of little mini battles and you're progressing up and you're trying to take on the big bad at the end. In this case, though, every game matters. You're just trying to win four World Series games before your opponent. Against a real player, you play a three game mini season. You have a buy round where you bring in more free agents after every mini game and then you start the World Series. Against the AI, you should play, recommended by the rulebook, one to three mini games. Each one will make the World Series a little bit easier. You could just jump right into the World Series right off the bat. Not recommended. It'd be really hard. I mean, you could probably get lucky once in a while and pull it off. Again, it'd be super, super hard. The AI, as you'll see, has a significant advantage over the player in those early games until you get more free agents to kind of balance it out. Of course, the AI isn't always playing optimally because they're just playing random cards off the top of their deck. So that will neutralize the power advantage they have in their cards. And I don't only mean like home run power, I mean defensive power and different abilities that their cards have compared to what's on your starter deck. The somewhat confusing thing about this game until you get it is that when it's called baseball highlights, it is legitimately baseball highlights. You are not playing a game where it's like, well, there's a pitch and then you hit and then you do. No, every one of these cards represents the highlights of that player for the game. So this dude, Joe Mays, he got a double in this game. Oh, and when there was a runner on second and third, he also got a clutch single. This dude, Mickey Maris, 
he got a single and a home run in this game. Oh, and there was that one big defensive play he had, which basically nullified a sure hit for the other team. Ichiro Matsui, well, he got two singles in this game, and then he also canceled the hit. And then Juan Spahn, well, he got a double and a single this game, but against that robot when he was pitching, he also threw a nasty curveball, and the robot did not have a chance, and the robot just kept striking out and not getting any hits. So hopefully that gives you an idea of what these cards represent. It's highlights. So it's a little wacky, the interactions. There are some things that will only take place if the other person is up. I did say robot there. What the heck? Yeah, it's the future, people. And in the future, baseball is not just a bunch of humans. Steroids are not. These are humans, cyborgs, and robots. And the fans, they love their humans that are really, really good. And they love their cyborgs. Not that big of a fan of the robots. And that's reflected in how much revenue these players will get. The more revenue, the more you can afford in the free agent market after every game. And again, we'll see how that plays out. But I will say at this point, as you're playing, getting revenue is almost as important as getting runs in those early games. The more revenue you have, the better players you can add to your team. You will always have a roster of 15. As you add players, you will be dropping players. I know it's very sad. It's just a reality. Dems the brakes, rookie. Back to the minors for more seasoning for you. I will now get started. I need to pick a team. So I'm going to have New York, which as an Orioles fan, makes me a little mad, um, but I can deal with it. We also have Boston. <laughs> Again, doesn't get much better for the Orioles fan. We have Los Angeles and we have San Francisco. Let me roll a die. Five is not helpful. Six is not helpful. There's only four. Two. Boston it is. The starter decks are different from each other, but they are fairly similar. I'm going to take the San Francisco one and put the home pennant for the Otoma. The Otoma is always the home team, and we will see that play out. It is better for the player to be visitor in this game, but there can be a wee bit of a home field advantage too, especially if you have the stadiums expansion, which I do, we're just not playing with today. And that just has some effects on how certain things happen. So since I'm the visitor team, I'm going to flip this banner over and there we go. Visitors team it is. And I realized I actually had the flags backwards. Oops. Sorry. Give me that. Give me my flag. Otoma. That's right. Ooh. <laughs> And now I got to flip it to the right side. I'm getting there, kids. The only other tokens in this game beyond these little pawns, which I'll explain in a second, are these little things which help keep score. If you score more than 10, oop, you flip it over just like that. And then you track the games one. Today, that's only going to be for the World Series. We're just going to be playing one regular season game to kind of get the juices flowing. Here are the different pawns. There are three different colors. What can it possibly mean? Well, these white dudes are slow. I don't mean anything other than the white pawns. Anything else you're reading into that, that's on you. We have the blue dudes. The blue dudes, they are just normal speed. The only difference between blue dudes and white dudes is that the blue dudes will score from second on a single. Very cool. And then we have the red dudes. The red dudes, really fast. When the red dudes are on the bases, they will always move plus one to whatever the hit is. So if they're on first and a single hit, boom, they go to third. They're on second and a singles hit, boop, they score. Well, that's just like the blue dudes. But if they're on first and a doubles hit, boop, they score from there as well. Very, very cool. Speed makes a huge difference in how this game plays out. We all want some speed on the base paths. So I'm going to shuffle up my starter deck of 15 cards, and I'm going to put this whole set of 15 cards right on the spot that says lineup. Just about done. That should do. Get this over here now you notice i put all the starter teams over there what's the, he gonna play with well the ai is going to play with the free agent cards which are really good compared to your starting deck especially so what i'm gonna do is shuffle these 60 cards that come with this edition of the game again i am not adding any of the expansions although some of them look really cool i mean you got coaches in there you got closers you got errors, you got hit and runs, you got so many things that just add to the flavor and the theme of this game. If you are not a diehard baseball fan, but you like what you see today, I assure you that this base game is enough. It did take some hunting to track down the Grand Slam expansion, and I'm glad I did, but it is not necessary again, and it might actually be not great for the solo game specifically. But again, if you love baseball, 
just looking through those cards made me super happy and I have not explored them too much, but I'm very much looking forward to doing that soon. So we're going to take all these 60 free agent cards. I have shuffled them up very well. And we're going to put 15 of those cards on the lineup spot for the AI. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. And the rest of these suckers are going to go up here and boom, the rest of these free agent cards, we're going to flip six face up. And those are going to be the free agents that will be available for us to purchase at the end of the game. We have the Z-Bat. Again, it's a robot. Robots aren't really fan favorites. They don't generate much fanfare. And that's reflected with that zero right there is the amount of revenue they generate. However, this particular robot only costs five to add to my team. And its highlights in the games that it plays are a double and a home run. It's pretty good. We have Mickey Maris. Again, doesn't generate a lot of revenue. Just, you know, Mickey Maris was kind of a, uh, the fans just didn't really take to him for whatever reason. I don't know. It is what it is. He played for the evil empire. And if you don't get that reference, that's fine. So he's a natural. He only costs seven and his highlights are a single and a home run. Plus he's got a glove out there. He's going to cancel one hit for you. We got Derek Bellinger. He's a natural double play. We get to remove up the two base runners. If they're not fast. Ooh, that's cool. It only costs five to get plus huge fan favorite generates for revenue whenever it plays. We have the five tool model cost 10 to get dude, but he's awesome. So he's fast. So we got a single, 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 all fast. That's amazing. Lots of speed on the bases. Plus it is clutch. So when it gets up, if there is a runner on second or third, you can just add another single to that. Just like that. It only generates one revenue, but woo, it's really nice. The lax long ball doesn't help with the revenue, but he will help you win games for sure we have two more coming off we have the bat 44 played for cincinnati and now a free agent it costs five to get generates two revenue it's a robot but it's a single and a double and it allows for some stolen bases as well so very very strong to add to your offense and is a nice little threat there we have one more coming up for the free agent market it's sandy gibson that is right the ever famous sandy gibson cost seven to get generates one revenue it cancels all hits versus a natural because it has a nasty fastball that naturals cannot catch up to that cyborg arm it's just a little bit unfair and it also hits a home run so a nice two-way player the otani of the next generation for sure so we'll put him out there now if you're playing with all the expansions the rule book does recommend that you play with 10 players in the free agent market not just four and that makes some sense to me because again some of them are just like coaches and things you're going to want to see a wider variety of cards to make sure there's something there that's going to suit your needs i am going to draw up to six cards these highlight games are only six inning games because in the future people just don't have the time for those nine innings too many innings so it's six inning games so we're going to look at the cards in my hand. Again, these are not nearly as impressive as the free agents. We have a robot who hits a double for us, but it's a slow runner, generates two revenue. He's a rookie. We have another rookie, which is a cyborg. He's a pitcher, but he's a little bit wild. So he doesn't give up any hits, but all the hits that would be hit become walks instead, generates one revenue and not an offensive threat at all. So pretty limited. We have this rookie who is another robot, has two singles, but very, very slow a foot that could be a problem, just clogging the base paths. We have this rookie is a natural, hits a single, generates two revenue. We have this rookie is a robot, it generates two singles. Again, more slow speed on the base paths, not great. And we have this veteran who has a nasty knuckleball, so reduces all hits by one base and generates two revenue, but doesn't give us any hits. Now, before the game, we can decide we want to put one of these suckers on deck. We're going to take them out of the starting lineup. And at some point in the game, we can take another one of these dudes that has that pinch hit symbol. We can say, hey, dude, get back to the dugout and put the guy on deck into the in play area. We strategically want to do that to help us cycle through our deck quicker because, again, these cards are kind of trash compared to what we're up against. So I'm going to put one of these dudes in the on deck circle. I'm going to put this rookie who hits a double on deck. And that means we have to draw another card because we should have six in our hand to start this game. 
So looking at revenue generation, anything that's going to give me two money, because this is not the beginning of the World Series. This is just a one regular season game. We want to make sure those are played so we have maximum revenue to spend after the game. This rookie has the pinch hit symbol and only gives one revenue. Doesn't give us any hits at all. This is the one we're going to set aside to pinch hit for later in this game. So in the top of the first, I'm going to play this rookie, and he is threatening one single and it is a single with an average speed runner so we put a blue runner right there on home plate so the ai is going to go we need a name for the ai let's call them the stankies so the stankies are going to go just pull that out of thin air never said that before so the stankies have sonic bat leading off now he's a robot if he was up against a cyborg this would trigger and he would have a quick eye triple and it would be with an average speed runner. However, I have a natural facing him, so the Sonic Bat does not get the triple in this game. My threatened hit of a single is not canceled or changed in any way by Sonic Bat, so I get a single, and then Sonic Bat also threatens a single with an average speed runner himself. We go to the top of the second, and in the top of the second, I'm going to play this robot, and that robot is not gonna do anything about Sonic bats single. So the single happens and I am going to threaten two singles with slow speed runners on my side. Bottom of the second, we have mini motor CX stolen base advance all average and fast base runners. One base thing doesn't do anything about my singles. So we have a single, the average speed runner. Our first went to second. We carry out our second single of the game. Remember, this is the highlights for this rookie. So the guy scores from second, the single advances this slow runner from first to second, and then the single goes to first. We scored one run. This guy's like, yay, we have the lead against this amazing Stankies team. And now the mini motor CX is going to threaten two singles with fast speed runners. Well, I don't want fast speed runners on base. I'm gonna play my veteran cyborg and he is going to reduce all hits by one base. That effectively means that singles are canceled. Home runs become triples, triples become doubles, doubles become singles, and singles go bye-bye. So no hits to carry out over here, but we are also not threatening any hits on our side of the game either. We're now gonna go to the bottom of the third. It is Blue Moon O'Doul. Cancels all hits versus a natural. I am not actually threatening any hits at all. And this dude is now threatening a single. That's a cyborg. My turn. I'm going to play this robot. So this single gets carried out. That scores a run. We're tied up one to one. And I'm threatening two more slow singles. Let's just get a bunch of base cloggers on our field over here. And now the bottom of the fourth, we have Speedo 42, stolen base, advanced all average and fast base runners by one and threatening a single and a double. Now that didn't do anything to my hits, which I should have done before I put the threatened hits here. So this is a single. We have bases loaded. The next single comes in, boom, run scores, but everyone else is slow. So only scores one run. It is now two to one. Make no mistake, Speedo over here is about to take the lead for his team. I don't know what else to do, so I'm going to call in a pitch hitter. And we have this robot, but unfortunately it doesn't do anything about the hits over here. So we're going to have a single that scores that dude. And then the double scores the fast runner all the way from first. It's two runs. So it's now three to two for the Stankies. And I'm threatening a double over here. The bottom of the fifth, we have Clutch. Oh no, Brooks Nettles comes in and gets a clutch single, which scores that guy from second. And it is now four to two, but does not do anything about our hits over here. So the double is going to score that guy and that guy. And now we have second and third. And that means it's four to four. And Brooks Nettles is now threatening two singles. Top of the sixth. We play the robot trying to score a couple more runs with the double being threatened. But before I do that, the singles get carried out. So now first and second, the second single scores a run. So it is five to four. I'm threatening a double. The last player for the Stankies, Cy 
PA. It's IPA. If he was lead off, he would hit a double right off the bat. Obviously not. So he is threatening a single, but that does allow me to score two runs over here. So it's six to five. And this threatened single would tie it up. But the visiting team always has a chance at a defensive save. That's even if it wouldn't make a difference in the final score of the game. Early on in this series of games, I will always be doing a defensive save just to cycle through my deck. So can I save the game and make the final score six to five? Clutch. No, only a defensive thing would actually help here. And you know it's defensive if it has like a reddish background as opposed to the greenish background. So this dude just discarded without effect. And what happens, the single gets carried out, scores a run. It is six to six. And they have a man on first to second. And I have a man on second. What happens now? We go to extra innings, kids, which is amazing because that means that I'm going to actually generate more revenue for this game than I normally would. So extra innings. I pull the top three cards off of my deck. And the rules get a little bit different, but you'll see how this plays out. Now, you can still pitch hit without someone on deck. You just have to randomly take the next card off the top of your deck, which isn't the craziest idea for me with the cards that I have. But let me try this. So I'm going to play the veteran. The Stankies are going to play the top card in their deck. It is the Bat 100R. We're going to put our threatened hits out. Ding and ding and now we carry out the immediate actions the home team's immediate action would be carried out first but there is none the visitors team immediate action gets carried out now cancel one hit now we carry out both of the threatened hits so this triple gets carried out the score is a run seven to six no threatened hits left to carry out for the stankies we look at the score i'm winning game is over Woo! a unusual win in the regular season against the stankies it's super exciting hopefully we can do it four more times in the world series <laughs> so we can actually win the whole game instead of just this meaningless pre-game part of it so what i'm going to do is discard the other two cards i had in my hand because of the extra innings and now we go to the buy phase so i have seven cards here because that was a seven inning game we should have seven cards here for the stankies we're going to put their cards in the dugout all these guys go away. We're going to reset the scores. Again, this doesn't do anything for the game's one column because this was entirely just a warm-up regular season game. Again, it's normally to your advantage when you are the player because I don't have very good cards. We're going to count how much revenue was generated because of this game. The fans were so excited. I generated one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten in revenue. Who do I want to spend this 10 in revenue on. Now, strategically, I could go for this big dude, or do I want to try to get two that cost five and just generate a bunch of revenue that way? I think that will make some more sense. It will also help me really get some of the stuff out of my deck. I'm going to demote one of those two rookies that give me two slow singles, and I'm going to demote this guy gives me an average speed double. So they're both out, and I'm going to add to my team Derek Bellinger. I can add him right to the top of my dugout, and this comes off, and I'm also going to grab the bat 44, and he'll go on top of my deck as well. Everything gets replenished right away. So what came out? Well, we have Satchel Seaver, cost six, generates three revenue, fastball, cancel all hits versus a natural. It threatens a single, and then we have Hideo Tanaka, it has a curveball, which cancels all hits versus a robot. They're really bad hitting curveballs, as I said earlier, and then gives you three singles with average speed runners. Again, singles don't generate that much revenue, but they really do help you win. So I'm going to take these other five cards. Remember, there's only five because I had seven because we had an extra inning game, and we put those into the dugout. Now we're going to the first game of the World Series. A kid's dream, we're finally here. Can we win on the biggest stage in the planet? Dun, dun, dun. So I draw the four remaining cards from my starter deck, plus the two cards I just paid for in the buy round. Remember, I only had a starting hand of six, but I did a pinch hitter, I did a defensive save, and then we drew three more cards for extra innings. So that's why I went through my deck that fast, which is really nice. And I'm going to do a pinch hitter again. So let me shuffle my deck. Just like a normal deck builder, really, that you're only shuffling your deck when you need to draw cards. So I'll put my lineup back on the lineup spot. 
And now I'm gonna decide who I want to put in the on deck circle. I only have one guy that actually has the pitch hit symbol. So that's Derek Bellinger. Obviously don't feel that excited about pitch hitting for him because he generates four revenue. So there's a good chance I don't even get to this this game just in case I'm going to put a home run bat in the on deck circle. That lets me draw another card. It does have the pitch in symbol, so that's good. I will probably pinch hit this dude to get that home run in play at some point during this game. We are always a visiting team because the Stankies insisted on it in contract negotiations of 2042. It's a big story that you just can't wait to happen in the future. So what I'm going to do is try to get this started with some speed on the bases. I'm going to play a veteran who is threatening a leadoff double with a fast runner. Bottom of the first, the Stankies play the bat 90. The robot would have a quick eye single versus a cyborg. Haha, <laughs> I'm a robot. My double gets carried out. And now the robot is threatening a home run with a slow runner. Well, I don't like home runs. So I want to try to cancel that sucker. We'll play my rookie cancels one hit. That's right. Rook show that glove. And we're going to have a single threatened with a average speed runner. We go to the bottom of the second. It is one spawn. The curveball cancels all hits versus a robot. I have a natural up, so that's fine. So my single gets carried out. That does score a run. One nothing in the World Series. And now the cyborg is threatening a double and a single. We are going to allow that because why the heck not and we're gonna put bat 44 up he's gonna go stolen base advance all average and fast base runners one base we're gonna carry out one spawns double and single so double single scores the average runner from second so it's one to one and now i'm threatening a single and a double over here the bottom of the third dave trout doesn't do much, which is nice. So the single comes in, scores a run, and then we have a double. Slow runner ends on third. Slow runner to hit the double ends on second. It is now two to one, and we're only threatening a triple over here. Probably not getting this veteran in play, so let's do this. We're going to play the rookie. He's going to cancel one hit, but does not threaten any hits. The bottom of the fourth for the Stankies. They put Boomer three up, lead off. This is the first card played. Single and then threatens two singles. Again, I had no threatened hits to carry out myself. I'm now gonna put Derek Bellinger in. So he's going to not do much offensively, but he is removing up the two base runners, no fast. So I wanted to play that before the fast runners got on base, but we do carry out the two threatened singles from Boomer, so single, and then the second single lets that guy go all the way to third. I have no threatened hits myself. Bottom of the fifth over here for the Stankies. Cancel all hits versus a robot. I had no hits to cancel. And then we're threatening a fast triple and a fast double. Not great. So all we have left is this rookie. So the triple scores two. The double drives in the triple. That's three runs. It is four to two Stankies. I'm just threatening a single. And finally, we have the bottom of the sixth over here for the Stankies. Catfish, Carlton, spitball, cancel all hits versus a cyborg. I am not a cyborg. This single happens, scores a run from third. It is now four to three. Cyborg is threatening a single, single, and a double. I'm going to do a defensive save just to cycle through some cards in my deck. And it changes all hits to walk, so we do carry that out. So walk, walk, walk. Defensive save was nice, but it's not enough. The Stanky score another run in the bottom of the six, and they win the game five to three. So one game up in the World Series. I can decide whether I want to put this veteran into the dugout or put him back on top of my lineup. I'm just going to put him in the dugout again, trying to cycle some cards. We're going to reset the scores to zero, zero, and now we go to the buy phase. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Again, huge part of my goal was just to generate some revenue. I could still buy two more of these. I think that's going to make the most sense. So let's get Satchel Seaver for six. Satchel Seaver again cancels all hits versus a natural, hits a single. The next card up is Nelly McGee. 
and she only costs five. So we'll go ahead and take her as well. A little more speed and has the ability to cancel a hit with the number of home runs in the Stanky's deck. Canceling hits is huge. So who do I want to drop? Well, we're going to drop this rookie who doesn't generate any money, but he does cancel a hit. How about this? We'll keep this dude. We'll drop this guy who just cancels the hit and doesn't threaten a single and only generates one revenue. And then I'll go ahead and drop. I don't want to drop this fast double. I'll drop this rookie. He generates two revenue, but only hits a single and doesn't have any defensive abilities to speak of. The replacement card for the free agent row is Big Mo. Quick guy, home run versus a cyborg, and then two slow runner singles. These will get added to the top of my lineup. These four remaining cards will go into my dugout. And now we go to game two of the World Series, brought to you on solo playthrough television. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. We're gonna take the six cards from over here and we're gonna put them in the dugout for the Stankies. Let me take a look. Probably gonna want to have someone on deck. I have a bunch of pinch hit abilities, so like to see that. And we put Satchel Seaver on deck. He can cancel all hits versus a natural and then hit a single. We draw up one more. It is a rookie robot, single, single, slow runners all around. So why don't we go ahead and get some slow runners on base? I like that. So we're gonna play this rookie and see if he can't get us started with two singles. The next card for the Stankies is Dasuki Darvish. The cyborg, he cancels all hits versus a robot. Well, way to go, Stankies. And then he's going to put in a single and a double. So that was a wee bit unfortunate. My turn. I'm going to play this veteran. So he's going to cancel one hit. I'm going to cancel the double. The threatened single is going to carry out. And I'm threatening a triple over here. Bottom of the second. What do we have? Is Speedbot. Speedbot doesn't cancel my hit, so I get that triple. And then Speedbot is threatening a single and a triple. That's not great. Top of the third, Nelly McGee is going to cancel the triple, allows the single, and then threatens a single. Bottom of the third, we need to reshuffle the Stanky's deck. That's reshuffled, and who's coming to the plate? Mini Motor CX, stolen base, advanced all average and fast base runners, one base. It does not cancel out my single, so that does score a run. So it's one nothing, but whew, doesn't feel very good because Mini Motor CX is threatening two singles. I'm going to play this veteran to reduce all hits by one base. Yoink, they're both canceled but I'm not threatening any hits myself. The bottom of the fourth, it's a pitcher's duel here, kids. Lead off, if this is your first card played, single, it is not, and threatening two more singles. Yikes. And also with all these robots, Satchel Seaver has not been very useful, and I don't have a lot more to do offensively right now. So I think this game is not gonna work. To my advantage, I'm going to play this robot. So both these singles are carried out. So single, both these runners score. Single, first to third. It's two to one. And now I'm threatening a slow double. Next up is Max Verlander. Cancels all hits versus a robot. So this double is canceled and threatening a triple and a double. So that seems to be the game. I think I want to keep Satchel Seaver on deck because if I leave them on deck by the end of the game, I could just put them back into my lineup for the next game. That's going to be a smarter usage of them, I believe. So I'm going to play this Cyborg, especially since the Cyborg is going to generate two, which is not that much less than Satchel Seaver's generation of a three. It's exactly one, by the way. Advanced math for you all. I'm going to be able to pick off one base runner, not threatening any hits, but the Cyborg's hits are carried out. So we have a triple. This guy scores a double. This guy scores. It's now four to one. In the bottom of the six, the Stanky still have one more batter coming up. It is Blue Moon Odul 
Cancels all hits and threatening a single. We are going to do a defensive save just to cycle through some cards. It's a rookie natural. Doesn't have any defensive immediate abilities. So the single carries out. That scores another run. And the final score is five to one. The Stankies are up two games to zero in the World Series. I told you winning that regular season game could not possibly be a good thing. Satchel Seaver is going to go back into the lineup for the next game. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten revenue that was generated. And I think it's time to go for the big guns. That is right. We have the five tool model it goes on top of the lineup. I do have to break someone's heart though and send them back to the miners. Unfortunately, sir, the removing one base runner, just not cutting it for me. We will miss you and thank you for your contributions to the team. We're going to replace the card in the free agent row, it's the model SK robot, quick eye, single, if versus a cyborg, and then a double and a single threatened with average speed runners. Drawing up the six, need to shuffle up my dugout. Blue Moon. Don't know who Blue Moon Odul is. There are definitely some references that are a wee bit lost on me, but 95% of these names I definitely know for sure. We're going to now draw three more cards. Yoink, there should be six cards here. There are, they go to the dugout. Cards in my hand, well, we have Nelly McGee back. We have Satchel Seaver. We have the five tool model and then three of the originals, a bunch of pinch hitter symbols, and that's always nice. So I'm gonna put the five tool model on deck and we're gonna draw up another card. It is a veteran, cancel one hit and hit a triple. Lots of really cool abilities with this hand of cards. Let me reset the scores. How am I going to lead this puppy off? How am I going to lead without you? I want to know. I want to get some speed on the base paths. Man, 5-2 model. <laughs> I might just lead off with them. That's a lot of fast base runners. Off the jump. Clutch is also nice. Can I get a man a second or third is a question because then these clutches will come in handy. Let me play this veteran glove cancel one hit. Obviously just wasting that, but I'm threatening a slow triple. The bottom of the first, the Stankies play the bat 90. Quick guy, single if versus a cyborg. They are not and threatening a home run. I did have a guy, he had been standing there since the last game. He's very, very committed to the Stankies and I appreciate that, but dude, get off the field. My triple goes forward because it was not canceled at all by the Stankies. My turn, the question is, do I want to bother canceling that home run it's only one run but it's one run so might make some sense to cancel it let me do this i'm going to let that go through but i want to get a lot of base runners on so i'm going to pinch hit early we're playing the five two model clutch single if there's a runner on second or third so we get a fast runner on a run scores it's one nothing it does allow this home run so it's one one but now i'm threatening three fast singles Bottom of the second, the stinky sent to the plate. Speedo 42, advance all average and fast base runners, one base. There are none. My singles get carried out. So the first single sends this fast runner to third. The second single scores this guy, first to third here. The third single scores this guy, first to third here. Two runners scored total, so it is now three to one. Speedo 42 is threatening a single and a double. I'm going to play Nelly McGee. She's going to cancel one hit, double goes away, the single gets carried out, and then she is threatening a single with another fast base runner. Bottom of the third for the Stankies, it is Psy PA, leadoff. If this is your first card played, double, it is not. My single gets carried out, scores first to third, man on first, four to one. Psy PA is threatening a single. My turn, just can squeeze them a little bit kind of in a good spot so the less base runners they can get the better so i'm going to play satchel seaver cancel all hits versus a natural that is a natural I'm not sure there's many naturals in their deck so i wanted to take advantage of that and we're threatening a single bottom of the fourth bat 100 r comes to the plate and is threatening a home run yikes well we can let that go through because our single happens so scores first to third single so it is five to one i'm going to play the veteran clutch, he's going to hit a single automatically because there is a runner on second or third. So scores to second to first, it is six to one. 
The home run gets carried out. That scores two, so it's six to three. And then this dude is threatening another single. Bottom of the fifth, Catfish Carlton comes to the plate. Cancel all hits versus a cyborg. I do not have a cyborg. This single gets carried out. This average runner scores from second. This guy goes to second. He goes to first, seven to three. And now Catfish is threatening a single, single, and a double. Definitely lots of base runners, but I have the veteran left in my hand, reducing all hits by one base. So the two singles get canceled. The double becomes a single. Bottom of the sixth, we have Dave Trout, who is threatening a triple. Should I do a defensive save? That's a good question. Now, I know where three of the five upgraded cards are in my deck, because I have five that I've already demoted to the minors. So there's a good chance that the next card of the deck is going to be one of my starter cards. So why not? We're going to do a defensive save. Don't be good. Oh, of course. It was a good card in that it generates four revenue, but it's actually not that great of a card. I mostly got that for the revenue generation. Defensive save happens. I get to remove up to two base runners. No fast. The triple gets carried out. And we have won game three of the World Series at a final score of seven to three. Put one in the win column. That is right, Joe Angel. If you don't know who he is, that's normal. <laughs> you probably don't. So here we go. We're going to take these six cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. They go in the dugout for the Stankies. I'm going to count my revenue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Who do I want to recruit now? I can't get two. David Tanaka is pretty sick, and they do have a lot of robots. And that is a lot of players. It doesn't generate a lot of revenue, but we are at the point in the game where that's not necessarily the worst thing. Sandy Gibson is fine with a home run, but canceling all his versus a natural. We know they don't have a lot of naturals in their deck. We just haven't seen many. Mickey Maris is nice with that single and a home run because if none of that's canceled, obviously that's two runs right there, plus he's canceling a hit. None of these guys are giving me revenue, which is making me not happy. Let's go more defensive-minded. So we will take... Deo Tanaka, so I basically did a defensive save of the guy who gives me four revenue and added the guy who gives me zero. Not exactly the thing of dreams. I do need to demote someone to the minors. Who am I tired of seeing? We're going to get rid of this veteran. Doesn't generate any revenue, but that clutch did come in handy. Thank you for your contributions. We wish you well in all your future endeavors. So I have seven cards in my dugout. I should have eight cards left in my lineup. That is correct. And now we're going to replace Tanaka in the free agent row. It is Barry Sosa. Natural. Cost nine. Home run, home run. That's <laughs> about the way things should go with Barry Sosa for sure. Drawing up the six cards. What do we get? It's going to be mostly starter cards. Yeah, it is. Oh, it's just Tanaka and a bunch of rooks. <laughs> This is not great. And no pitch hit symbols. So I am going to put someone down here, but who's someone I can really live without just in case? We'll put this rookie down and pick up another card. And we get bat 44. Also cannot be pinch hit for. So this rookie is like, dude, what's going on? It's like, yep, that's about it. These guys get off the bases. Got a problem with people that really just want to hang out on the field when it's not their time to stay there and now we have to get into game four this is gonna be rough don't love my chances here that is for sure all right let me start this off with a leadoff single being threatened with an average speed runner bottom of the first clutch single if runners on second or third there are not but threatening two singles, and it is a natural. Maybe they had more naturals than I realized, but this single gets carried out. I'll let those singles go. I'm going to play this rookie who's threatening a double, but both these singles are carried out. It's a slow double. Bottom of the second. It is Sonic Bat. Triple if versus a Cyborg. They are not. My double gets carried out, so we have second and third. No one scores. We're threatening a single over here. It's a robot. Does not make sense to cancel that going to threaten a home run that does allow this single to go through so guy scores from second first and second one to nothing i'm going to put my threatened home run here bottom of the third the stankies cancel all hits versus a robot of course they do so canceling my home run and threatening a double and a single not great i'm going to play this 
robot, which allows a double and a single. Let me shuffle up the Stanky's deck because they are going to need to be able to draw a card for the bottom of the fourth. So the double and single get carried out. So this guy scores and these two score in the single. So that's three runs in. So four to nothing. And I'm threatening a double. Bottom of the fourth for the Stankies. Cancel all hits versus a robot again. <laughs> Freak, man. Okay, that double's canceled. Threatening a single and a double. And this is a cyborg. Man, they have more cyborgs. I know they have some robots in there too, but this is really bad. Oof. All right, I'm going to play bat 44. All average and fast runners advance one base. That's right. You stole home. Four to one. And the single and a double get carried out. So single, double, five to one. And bat 44 is threatening a single and a double with two slow runners. Bottom of the fifth for the Stankies. Cancel all hits versus a natural. It is not a natural. Threatening a single. My single and double get carried out. So single and double. It is five to two. Last card in my hand is going to be Deo Tanaka. So none of the robots came up, unfortunately. I know they had a few of them as well. That's a little just unlucky. Two runs get scored on this single. So it is seven to two. I'm threatening three singles. Bottom of the sixth. Stolen base advanced all average and fast runners. Single and a double. I'm going to do a defensive save. Cancel one hit. The double gets canceled. The single happens. Run scores. It is eight to two. It's a shellacking in game Four. We got to win three in a row to pull this one out, kids. So this rookie, I'm just going to put into the dugout instead of back to the lineup. We never pinch hit. I should have carried out these three singles at some point. That would have scored me three runs, but I still lose by three. So that is just how that would have played out. So see, yeah, sorry about that. Just kind of knew I couldn't win. Let me count up my revenue generated and see if we can't pull out a miracle. We have zero for Tanaka, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. This dude costs six. Let me get Barry Sosa and hope for some good times out of those bats. And we're going to have to drop someone. We will drop the slow double. We replace Barry Sosa from the free agent row. It is Boog Banks. Glove cancel one hit, hits a double. Cost five, generates two revenue. I'm going to draw... Barry Sosa into my hand and I need five more cards. Oh no. <laughs> it's really bananas that I won that first regular season game. You just see how much stronger the deck starts for the stankies. I do have seven free agents in my hand though. So that really does help. There's a bit of randomness obviously in which cards end up in my deck, but every game I can win, I'm more likely to win the game after that. Right? So we do have a chance. One, two, three, four, five. Who do we have? Five tool model, Nelly McGee, Tanaka. That's good, especially because I know a couple of robots should be coming up. Oh, there was a robot. Speedo 42 just came up right at the end there. That's super annoying. And am I going to put someone on deck? You bet I am. We're going to put Barry on deck and drawing up this dude. It's another home run hitter. It's a robot. So who has the pinch hit ability? This dude does Nelly. We're not pinch hitting for her. So as much as I like that knuckleball, it's a little redundant with Tanaka's cancel hits versus a robot based on how I've been using him anyway. So how do I want to lead this puppy off? I think we lead us off with this rookie threatening two slow singles. Bottom of the first. What you got, Stankies? They have a spitball, cancel all hits versus a cyborg. I have a robot, not a cyborg. Joke's on you, Catfish Carlton. So single, single, threatening, two singles, and a double. <laughs> double is baseball for double. I don't know, something like that. Don't want it to get a single, single, double. That is for sure. And it's a cyborg, not a robot. Nelly McGee is going to cancel the double. We're going to carry out the single single, so first and second, and she's threatening a single with a fast runner. Whoa, Nelly, that's right. The bottom of the second, side PA, lead off. If this is your first card played, hit a double. It is not. It's a natural, and it's threatening a single with a fast runner. Not a robot. Maybe they don't have any robots. I just made this whole thing up. <laughs> I swear they had robots. That doesn't cancel the single for Nelly, so that single goes through, so we have bases loaded here. 
I'm going to play the five tool model. So clutch single. If there's a runner on first and second, there is. So this guy scores, goes to third, goes to second. Now, normally a fast runner would go from first to third, but the slow runners in the way, obviously. And we get a fast runner on first now from that clutch single that makes it one, nothing. We did not cancel the single over here. So this single happens. This guy scores from second. We have first and second is one, one. And now the five, two model is threatening three singles. Next we have the bat 90 quick guy. If versus a cyborg and is threatening a home run, not versus a cyborg. So the single doesn't happen. And five, two model hits three singles. So these two score on the first single. This one scores on the next single first to third. This one scores on a single after that four runs scored. So it is five to one and we'll put the threatened home run over here. Deo Tanaka is going to cancel all hits versus a robot. So that home run doesn't happen and threaten three singles. Bottom of the fourth over here. Robot stolen base advance all average and fast runners one base and threatening two singles, but does not cancel my three singles over here. So I should do those first single first to third single and single scores from second. That's three more runs. So it is eight to one. And we have the two threatened singles over here. So obviously looking pretty darn good. I think with that being the case, I might just save Barry for the next game. Right, so I'm going to play this cyborg, reduce all hits by one base. Singles are effectively canceled. Bottom of the fifth over here is threatening a triple. My turn. I'm going to threaten a home run with this veteran. This triple happens. So that scores two runs. And here's my threatened home run. And bottom of the six, cancel all hits versus a robot. The home run is canceled, threatening a triple and a double. Do I want to try to defensive save that? Nope, doesn't make a difference. So triple happens, double happens, two runs score, but we win this game eight to five to make the series three to two. Barry's gonna go back on top of the lineup. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's right. One, two, three, four, five, six. These go into the dugout for the Stankies. We'll reset the scores, get off the field, and here we go. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven money was generated my time to get mickey maris he'll come into here and we do have to demote one of these clowns we'll get rid of slow singles although lots of base runners was a good strategy for us that last game i'm gonna draw up to my hand of six for game six of the world series one two three four and five and six should have a lot of pinch hit symbols. It worked really well for us putting Barry <laughs> in the on deck circle. So we might just do it again. What do you say, Barry? Or I could put Satchel Seaver there in case a natural comes up and we want to cancel a bunch of hits. Cause again, they have more naturals than I thought. And maybe not as many robots as I thought. Yeah, we'll put Barry down here. Because we did that, we draw another card. Bat 44. Hello, Bat 44. How do you do today? It's not going to be a lot of base runners with this current array of cards so that is something to be aware of i'm gonna lead off the game with this veteran who's threatening a double with a fast runner bottom of the first the stankies start the game with boomer three. Oh, if this is your first card played single of course it is and now they're threatening two fast singles my double would have been carried out yikes and of course, that is a robot. Where's Tanaka when you need him? Oh, it's too much. Let's hit a home run early, maybe. So we cancel one hit. This single happens. So first and third, and I'm threatening a single and a home run. Before I go to the bottom of the second for the Stankies, I realized I didn't replace the free agent row. This is Troy Jeter. Glove, cancel one hit. Single, single generates three revenue. So bottom of the second for the Stankies. It is bat 100R threatens a home run, but it doesn't cancel mine. So single, this scored a run, and then a home run that scored three total. So it is three to zero. That's a robot. Ooh. I don't want him to hit a home run. That's not good. So we're going to play this rookie. He doesn't generate any revenue, but does the job. He defensive save. Woo, the glove. He robbed that sucker of a home run, jumped above the wall. Boo, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. In the World Series, this is Andy Chavez stuff. And if you know who Andy Chavez is, 
you win an award. Not sure what it is yet, but you win it. So we are threatening a single here. Bottom of the third. Speedbot is going to allow my single, but is threatening a single and a triple. And that is a lot of speed for the Stankies, my friends. So we need to reshuffle these cards. I am a little worried. <laughs> I've already used a lot of my hit canceling abilities to try to reduce the number of dudes on the base paths here. That would score three if I allow all of that. And it's not a natural. Changing all hits to walks doesn't seem like that's going to do much good for me. So we'll not be doing that. So I'm going to play robot, stolen base, advanced all average and fast base runners, one base. So that advances. And we have a threatened single and a double. Before I put those out, we have a single, first, a third, run score, triple. Base is clearing triple. So three to three. And now I'm threatening a single and a double over here. Bottom of the fourth leadoff. It is not the first card played. We already had a leadoff this game, Psy PA, and we're going to now threaten a single. That's a natural, which could be good. And we are going to also carry out my single and a double over here. So run scores. And then second and third, it is four to three good guys. I'm going to play Satchel Seaver who is canceling all hits versus a natural and then threatening a single bottom of the fifth cancel all hits versus a robot, not a robot carrying out the single that scores one. So it's five to three and then threatening a triple and a double that would score two. So I make it five to five could just try to change all hits to walks, but that gives them too much opportunity to score a lot of runs with all that speed. So I am, Pinch hitting Barry Sosa. So we're allowing the triple and the double that scores two. So it's five to five, but Barry over here is threatening two home runs. Woo clutch five to five first and third threatening two home runs and Max Verlander just died the game. What is happening? Bottom of the sixth quick eye single versus a cyborg is not my home runs happen. First home run scores three. Second home run scores one. So it is nine to five. And we're threatening just a two run shot over here. Do I want to try a defensive save? Maybe. <laughs> one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Oh, yeah. I know where all my free agents are for sure. So this is not a very good deck of cards left. So defensive save. Yoink. Doesn't do anything to the home run. The home run scores nine to seven. We take game six to send this to a decisive and final game seven. Who's excited? I am. Woo. Yeah. So these six cards can go away. Scores will reset. It is three to three. And how much revenue did I generate? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Only eight, folks. Two of these gave me a big fat zero. That is correct. Who do I want to add to this team? We won game six with home runs. We won game five with speed on the base pass. How can we win game seven? Oh, Troy Jeter. I like you. That's base runners. Home run versus a cyborg. Single it versus a cyborg. Double home run over there. Cancel all hits versus a natural and hits a home run. I mean, I wish I remembered how many cyborgs they had. I think they have a few, man. I mean, that could be a sneaky, sneaky card. Oh, I'm going to have to drop one of these suckers, too. Don't forget. Let's do it, man. Home run versus cyborg could be really sneaky. Only cost five, so I'm essentially wasting four more revenue. Oh, no. That comes in, and we're going to be able to get Pee Wee Rizzuto as well. Glove cancel one hit with a single. Yes, please. That was a very lucky draw. And then sprint 36. Stolen base, single, double, cost six, but that's fine. We had the nine to spend on the two that we got. Four, five, six. Oh, I only had eight. I only had eight. I lied. <laughs> Sorry, Phil. I got excited when I saw you, but I only had eight, not nine. Glad I recounted. Knew it was too good to be true. So we're going to drop this rookie he's like but it was game seven i just wanted to be there but sorry dude dreams sometimes don't come true but just the way it is so we got big mo we got derek bellinger and i'm reshuffling these so i got a little bit lucky that i did not pull derek bellinger as a top card although again derek bellinger i got him in the beginning of the game for revenue generation and now all he's doing is removing two base runners the good thing is i can pinch hit for him 
is I'm probably going to want to. So a lot riding on the next three cards that I draw. So let's hope for a good shuffle and we can take home the crown in solo playthroughs 2022 season. That is correct. So who else do we get? Bam, it's a rookie who can change all hits to walks. Bam, it is Satchel Seaver who can cancel all hits versus a natural. And bam, it is a veteran. That is not the draw of dreams by any means. Maybe I can bury one of these guys. Yikes. Don't love it. We'll bury this rookie. And hopefully I pick up something better. Be a free agent. Oh, the 5-2 model is exactly what I was hoping for. That is amazing. <laughs> Really good. Not hating on this at all. Especially if we can get up against a cyborg, hit a little quick guy home run with Big Mo. That is right. So I'm going to start this game off right with a threatened double from a veteran. He's the one who got us here. He's the one who got the team together and motivated and made us believe that we could correct the Mundo. So we're going to go to the bottom of the first. The Stankies don't know what happened. They had this series on lockdown. It was three to one. And what is happening now? I want to remind you that if I had not played any warm-up games, I would have won because I won that regular season game. So that's a little tilting right now. But boom! Cancel all hits versus a robot. No! Tatsuki Darvish, you're the worst. So that is canceled and now threatening a single and a double. And it's a cyborg. I don't think I have much canceling stuff from cyborgs. Ooh, I could just knock one out of the park. I'm not sure if I'm seeing any other cyborgs. I think that makes some sense. Let's do it. Cyborg, quick guy, home run, take the early lead. Woo, single and double happen. Again, average speed runners do not score from first on a double. It's only fast runners who do that. And now we're threatening two slow singles. Bottom of the second for the Stankies and comes up to the plate is Catfish Carlton. Cancel all hits versus a Cyborg. I'm not a Cyborg over here. I'm a robot, so that doesn't do anything to me. And then we have two singles and a double. <laughs> Whatever. My two singles happen. Yikes. They are just loving getting people on the base pass right now. So I'm going to play Derek Bellinger. Derek Bellinger is going to remove up to two base runners, no fast. So we're going to prevent two runs from scoring, but single, single, and then double. So it is now one to one. I think that was pretty important. We'll see how this plays out. Obviously, bottom of the third, the Stanky send up speed up 42. All average and fast base runners advance one base. So we stole home. So it is two to one Stankies. I'm not threatening any hits, and we have a single and a double over here. Cancel one hit and hit a triple. Sure, Natural's going to cancel the double. The single happens. Run scores three to one, and we're threatening a slow triple. Next, bottom of the fourth, running out of time. Triple it versus Cyborg. We are not. My triple happens. Scores two, three to three, and threatening a single over here. That is a robot. My turn, 5-2 model is going to come up. Clutch is going to hit a single right off the bat because we have a runner on third. That makes it 4-3. to three. We take the lead. The single happens first to third. Man on first. And we have three threatened singles with the 5-2 model. Next up, bottom of the fifth. What is it? Dave Trout. He's threatening a triple, but all my singles happen. So first to third, man on first, scores, first to third, man on first, scores, first to third, man on first, two runs score. Six to three. Man, we're on the road, but the crowd's going wild anyway because they're just really rooting for this team because they realize that they've been rooting for the Evil Empire all these years, and who wants to root for that? We also have a threatened triple over here. And my turn now, Satchel Seaver comes in, cancel all hit versus natural. That is canceled and threatening a single. Looking good. This goes up. Oh, cancel all hits versus a robot. Not a robot. The single happens. Scores a run. Seven to three. And we're threatening a double and a single over here. Not going to be enough, but we're going to do a defensive save anyway. That's right. We cancel the double because we can run scores first and third. Run scores, but it's seven to four, and we have done it, folks. We have won the World Series in 2022 on solo playthroughs. Woo! <laughs> this game is just silly and fun, and that's what this is about, right? You're not going to burn your brain with this one, but it's just light and fun and thematic, 
and maybe I'll get it on the channel again if I want to throw these expansions in there. But I hope if you're a baseball fan, you could see that this might be indeed a game for you. And if you're not a baseball fan, it still might be a game for you, right? Like it's just got a lot of goofiness. I don't really love soccer or basketball all that much, but if you gave me a game that was this light and quick and clever like this, it had a nice little system with a decent little AI that's hard. I mean, it's a challenge. You're not going to win every time by any means. There's a little bit of randomness, whatever, but it's just fun. If you give me a game like this, I'm sure I would pick it up. Why not? You know, just add to the solo library with some cool games that kind of round out the collection. You see how good your lineup gets by the end. I mean, your lineup's, you know, matching theirs and they're an AI that isn't always playing the cards in the right order. And you hopefully have enough of a brain to kind of figure out what is the best order to play different things and just got a little lucky. I guess there were two cyborgs. So really just wanted to sneak out that home run right away, but it was good to get that early run and kind of win the world series, which we did in 2045. And this is the highlight reel of what happened in 2045. So in 2045, when you see big Mo come up against the Suki Darvish and hit a home run to take the lead in game seven of the world series, you'll remember how, I showed you the future in today's game. I do really like the idea of how this game crystallizes the highlight reel of a baseball game into a strategic package like this. And supposedly they tried the same thing with football and it just wasn't as good. I think there probably is something about baseball and matchup specific and pitcher versus batter and some of the little nuance of baseball that does lend itself more to the format than other sports might but it's super cool. It's a small footprint. There's a pretty small box as it is, and that's with room for all the expansions and the extra tokens. But honestly, you just need 120 cards. And I really dig this game and what it does. The nostalgia factor is real for me, for sure. That definitely helps and that adds to my enjoyment. And for those who don't know, especially for the people who aren't familiar with baseball that much, all of these names for these players are real life baseball players that are a lot of them are joined. Hideo and Tanaka were two different baseball players. Mickey Maris would be Mickey Mantle and Roger Maris. You have a lot of modern names popping up in here. I mean, you got like Machado, Renato, you got Tulo. Obviously you saw Jeter, Big Mo is just obviously move on. Some of these definitely go a little bit older before my time. I mean, Max Verlander, Max Scherzer and Justin Verlander. And that's really for the naturals and the cyborgs. The robots have obviously a little more robot names such as Z-Bat. But even those are pretty clever. Like it's the bet. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? Maybe one day I'll pick up the Baltimore starter deck just for kicks, but it's probably not worth whatever the heck it costs. The Grand Slam expansion, I thought was worth it for what you're getting. You're really pretty much doubling the content for the game. And it was probably just around 50 for that. Not the easiest to find. So if you can grab what you want, I would definitely recommend. This does seem like it's the kind of game that would be out of print sooner rather than later. I mean, and then you're going to be trying to hunt down these just packs of cards and paying outrageous prices on the secondary market. Sometimes for a game that just appeals to you for whatever reason, it is totally worth it. So that is that really excited to get another new game onto the channel. Thank you to all my patrons who make that just a little bit easier, folks. I'm not going to lie. I do own more games than I would if it wasn't for this channel. I really do acquire games more with an eye for what I think would be useful and helpful on the channel. And this game, I really think fits that bill. I mean, it's an interesting game. It had popped up in a number of solo circles that I was in. Thought it might be something for me. If you want to see more baseball highlights 2045, definitely let me know that in the comments, especially if you have some experience and think the expansions are actually great for solo play. That would be really interesting for me to know. If you want to see exactly what's coming up in solo playthroughs land, there is a link to my Patreon page below. And on my Patreon page, you will find a public post that I put out about a week before every month that lists the upcoming schedule for that month to come with a little bit of a sneak peek for the month following that. Sometimes there are some changes, but most of the time I do stick pretty closely to the schedule. Live playthroughs are every Wednesday, so check those out if you can. Always fun to have a big audience. The chat is great, really helpful, and not only making sure I'm not making mistakes as I'm trying to do seven other things during a live playthrough, but really cool questions and love engaging with my audience and subscribers in a new way through that, so please do check that out. 
Obviously, we'll always be more Spirit Island and Maze Knight and Arkham and Too Many Bones and Cloud Spire and all the games we've come to know and love, but you will see more new to Greg and new to solo playthroughs games coming up in the next couple of months. So hope you are enjoying that. Any special requests to games that you're like, hey, I know about this game. I'd love to see Greg play it. Definitely put that in the comment section below. No promises would not be the first time that I have found out about a game through the channel. And that is one of the perks of spending all the time and effort that I do with this channel here. So I am yammering as I am known to do. So I'm going to cut myself off here. Thank you for joining me. And until next time, happy gaming.